Growing up in Goodwater, it was definitely a challenge. Um, not coming from much, but not a lot of people around. Probably like 500 to maybe 800 people in my town. But you definitely have people that you can lean on. Uh, a lot of people looking up to you, just want you, wanting you to make it out. But then you also got people that want to see you fail. So, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, man, you just got to do what's best for yourself. Man, if my court look half as good as this court, man, it'll be crazy to go home and play on this. I wish you could see the court that I play on. No nets, taped up nets, no lines on the court. So I grew up playing on one court, one outside court, that's it. I got my first tattoo when I was 15. Um, I actually was with my uncle. Uh, he, he was getting a tattoo and I was telling him that I wanted to get a tattoo, but I didn't know what I wanted. I just wanted a tattoo because he was getting one. I think like this was my first tattoo I got. A lot of people say it means killing the game, so I just went along with it. Um, probably my most meaningful tattoo would be the one on the back of my arm. It's the hashtag that I use, uh, TGBTG, uh, which stands for To God Be The Glory. And I know without God, nothing is possible. So I wanted to get that tatted on me because that's something that I live by. Growing up, I knew that I had to get out. Um, I know a lot of people that uh, went to play college ball and came back and they ended up staying in good water. So I knew like once I left that I had to stay gone. My senior year in college, uh, on my way to class, my uncle calls me um, and was like, somebody just shot and killed Clyde. My stepdad was murdered 15 minutes from my hometown. I hate crime. Uh, the guy didn't want him living in the, in the neighborhood. So I get out the phone and I call my coach. So I call him, I'm like, can you meet me at the gym? Like, I got something I gotta I got to talk to you about. So we went up to the office and, and I just broke down. Like, I broke down crying and I said, somebody just killed my stepdad. And he, it just went quiet and he didn't know what to say. My mama was just waiting on me to get home. Like, she didn't want to see nobody else. She was just waiting on me to get home. And then the funeral happens, and after that, I had got to the point where I was like, okay, I understand that I gotta be strong for her. So I just took it upon myself to be there for her and my little brother and sister. So we all kind of leaned on each other. Uh, then I eventually went back to school. Well, first off, he meant so much to me because he made my mom happy. Um, to have my stepdad actually come into my mom's life and treat us like we were his own kids. If I could be half the man as he is, then I, and I know I live my life the right way. So I started writing on my shoes probably like my first year in France. I don't even know what made me start doing it. One day I, just, I was just like, I'm gonna just write uh, rest in peace ECW on my left shoe. And then on my right shoe, I got TGBTG. Always a tribute um, to my stepdad. So everything I do, man, is for him now. So like I said, man, the epitome of a man was Elbert Clyde Wilson. And, and I, couldn't, I couldn't thank him enough if he was still here. Um, and I'm just happy that we crossed paths and um, I had him in my life for as long as I did. Good evening and welcome inside Meridian Center here in downtown St. Catharines, Ontario, home to game number nine of the CEBL Summer Series featuring the Hamilton Honey Badgers and the Edmonton Stingers with defending MVP Xavier Boone. I was a big shoe fanatic because uh, me and my uncle were the same size. So all the shoes he didn't want, I got them. Man, I, I love shoes, man, but I'm, I'm really more in love with the color of the shoe. All my shoes, man, I try to try to get the brightest color shoe that they got, man, and pretty much everybody know me for that. Bright colors, man, bright personality, so I definitely think the, the, shoe, the shoe colors are a reflection of my personality. Here's Xavier Moon walking it up, the defending MVP. He's been giving the AI cameras hell. He's so fast that the <laughs> cameras can barely keep up with him sometimes this guy, as he sticks the jumper. He's the fastest guy, hands down, in this league. Like I said earlier, man, I got a lot of people behind me, a lot of people that are proud of me and, and what I'm doing. Um, and I just enjoy my life, because life is so short, life is so precious. So I just try not to take one day for granted, one second for granted, man. So that's why I'm always smiling and laughing and trying to have a good time. 
and just trying to spread my energy to other people, man, because life is short. So you gotta enjoy it while you can. Well, the win is on the line here for Xavier Moon, the MVP of the league last year, has the ball in his hands. He pulls up for three for the win. It's good, Xavier Moon! <laughs> takes the Edmonton Stingers, and it's more relief than it is happiness from Xavier Moon, as Edmonton made that probably a lot closer than they would have wanted to. But it's a win here for the Edmonton Stingers to move to two and one here in the CEBL Summer Series. Hey man, we got it. We can enjoy it today and tomorrow, but it's back to business on Wednesday, man. Stingers on three, family on six. One, two, three. Stingers for my six. Family. Family. Yeah. Yeah.